he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Our vicar general in Siena one day was mentioning the way in which it would be dangerous to close churches. He added, when that happens, the sects come in. If truth is not taught, then something comes to fill the vacuum. Oftentimes, under the appearance of good, Satan is well able to disguise himself as an angel of light. If over a long period the flock is not given clear teaching, then a form of syncretism comes in. A little bit of Christianity remains, but in the midst is much other stuff. And that's where the souls are easy prey. Once the immune system has collapsed and there are no antibodies, no awareness of what is not true or fully true, then True creeds give way to credulity. Anything is believed. And with also firm conviction, pre-Christian thought returns with a vengeance. And of course, we know that when that situation arises, the use of apparent healing energies are useful. But the demon who is behind them wants his pound of flesh. We priests know that contamination of the soul comes from the use of energies which are not of God. But thought patterns also which are not of God confuse and contaminate the person. We are what we ingest. If then the flock is not given what it needs in the pulpit, it must find a supplement in well-selected personal reading, well-selected personal selecting also of videos and sites which are the equivalent of libraries in our day. But the problem can be there that people believe everything they hear and are influenced greatly by powerful voices which may be erring on one side or the other of the golden mean. There is a lot of over the top material out there and people with good faith are swayed and actually damaged. The Holy Spirit is not swayed or damaged. We need to be aware that the Holy Spirit also can be our interior master when other means fail. But for that to happen we must truly give him space and not fill the space with more human voices, albeit trying to be from God. A certain simplicity of hearing helps the Holy Spirit on that. We have, after all, the sensus fidelium, and that can be sharpened. Listening and being with the Blessed Sacrament changed and ever still. And 
and in that we have access to something of what Jacob had. The name Peniel or Penuel can be seen on quite a few of the old chapels in Wales. The place where Jacob saw God and lived. The root pan is actually plural of faces. It comes also as presence of, in the presence of. But the presence of God, the face of God, Penuel, is something that we have access to, albeit veiled. There are quite a few unveilings actually, even in our time, sightings of the face of Christ in the host. Little hints that truly we gaze at essential love. I'm moved every time I see this in the sacristy as I come out. The face of Christ, which appeared from a person who obviously was contaminated in his thought. He didn't see it himself, but he was talking to this lady on an aeroplane, making fun of her faith, presumably she was saying the rosary on the flight. Oh, come off it. Look out there, there's no sign of God out there in the clouds or in the sky. And she poked her camera out, and this is what came out. A gentle face. Yuri Gagarin, the first man into space, a Russian, made fun of the Christian idea of God. God doesn't exist. We didn't find him out there. But they were looking with the wrong eyes and the wrong place. Yuri Gagarin by now is long dead. But the face of Christ still gazes. And although those who mock Christ and his face in the church are very loud, they too one day will be still. When one passes a graveyard, there are many tombs therein. People tend to get away from the issue by saying, I don't think there's anything there on the other side. That has the advantage of cancelling the problem, but shows a complete lack of logic. The person is not reasoning correctly. What I think is what I think. What I think has not an iota of an effect on what is there and what is not there. And so, no matter how loudly I speak, I cannot reach a soul which has gone beyond the tomb, is now out of reach. And that soul too was one who thought that he could actually cancel the equation. But one second afterwards, the equation is only just starting, and he has no power, no matter how much he tries to think or even to shout, to stop it from being, ever, ever. 